Hey everyone, welcome to another video. It's Krexa Prime. Uh, I'm sorry that Fodim6 is hey, taking a Hey, 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 all right, listen up, buddy. All right, you got your what? channel, I got my channel. Oh, okay. okay. Um, that's why right. we're doing this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey guys, uh, it's me and Krexa Prime here. Um, so he moved away. Yeah, but he I came back. He, he came back because it was he missed it so much. But he's gonna be going back. Again. M missed this guy too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Same. It's been really sad. Um, but yeah. So um, I'm gonna continue my Q and A. We didn't really have too much planned, but we. I'll just decided I do the Q and A since he was here. So I'm gonna read some of the questions. I'm gonna ask him. Um, and I'm sorry it's been a while. Um, and Fodum Six. I've talked about Fodum Six. So there we go. Um, okay. So the first question is, uh, congratulations. Your great videos deserve to keep going. Take all the we need for editing. Uh, okay, so what is your favorite Bionicle memory? Um, so my favorite Bionicle memory is probably uh, probably hearing the first leaks that Bionicle was coming back because um, that blew my mind in half because I never thought that was even possible. Yeah. Um, and the hype train was awesome. So yeah, Krexa, what was your favorite Bionicle memory? Favorite Bionicle memory. I mean, what Thatch mentioned was uh, pretty cool. Um, I don't know, like. Maybe just watching some of the, the like, 2007 Mario animations, because that's kind of when I got yeah. into Bionicle. When I was, like, seven, I was, like, really into the Mario stuff, so... Probably some of my most nostalgic memories or moments, I guess. We were just talking about Dakar and that how that commercial was super cool. Oh, so. uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, what place and meaning does Bionicle have in your life? That's kind of a big one. I'm just going to say... It's a little bit of a big part of it, just a little bit. A um, little bit of an obsession for you yep, yep. and me. <laughs> yep, okay, There's uh, this one is a, a good one. So what does Thatch Mac mean? Well, Thatch Mac is Latin for the coolest person ever. Um, yep. It's no, no, yeah, it doesn't mean anything. Well, the thing was, uh, when I was a kid, um, uh, so my real name kind of sounds like Thatch Mac, uh, or it sounds like Thatch, and so Thatch just became my nickname. So when I was making my YouTube account, I wanted it to be Thatch. But it didn't really work out um, because that was obviously taken because there's an infinite YouTube number of accounts. But it recommended, I don't know if it still does this when you make an account, but it recommended a bunch of alternate names and one of them was Thatch Mac. And okay. so I was like, that sounds kind of cool, Thatch yeah. Mac. Mini Mac wasn't even a thing. I made my YouTube account in 2011. I don't know who. So people sometimes think that I'm some sort of relation to Mini Mac. I don't. Um, I just call it Thatch Mac because YouTube recommended it and it kind of worked out well. Um, do you like Crowshell or do you love it? Wow. Uh, Crowshell's amazing, right? Like, oh yeah, I love Crowshell. Yeah, too. Crowshell's perfect. Oh, yeah. You used it, the you used it's coming back sometime eventually, but you used the the new song, the new Gravity Hurts in your trailer. Yeah, that was amazing. That was really cool. Yeah. Um, what do you think of Christian Faber's creative work, including Rebel Nature? Well, I think Christian Faber is like one of the most underrated geniuses alive right now because that <laughs> dude has got his own unique vision, and you can kind of see the consistency with all of his work where he's got like the ocean is a big part of it and wonder and like it he just he's got a look and I, I love all of his i think he's amazing and i really wish we got to see more comic books inspired by him like like you see some people um like like stanley or, or other creative people who make all these different or like butch hartman or something who make all these creative things and and, and they get to show so many ideas and the only one christian's got is basically bionicle but he yeah. really should have a million different franchises under his belt because he's really smart. So. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, <laughs> and, and Rebel Nature looks awesome. They're, did you see the live action Rebel Nature thing that they did? Oh, like the like the vlog thing. Yeah, and they had the girl and she was dressed up like. I haven't seen it. Uh, like I put it on my watch later list. Mm -hmm. um, you gotta watch it. There was a mon. It, it was a real girl dressed up as the main character, and that was really oh, cool. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you think of rumors of Bionicle Reboot 2019 and what are your thoughts on it? So this is Q&A. This was a month ago, so I guess it was a little bit more relevant back then. I mean, it's, I'm pretty sure it's fake. Um, <laughs> I know that there was the URL thing that they did on Brickset, which we figured out you can modify the URL. I did. I did like a, I did like a Hapori URL and I did like a Camellio URL on Brickset. So yeah, so it's it, nothing really special there. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts about a reboot in general or an, a G3? I think I'm more optimistic than most people just because if Bionicle's around, Bion if it's a new Bionicle, Bionicle's getting talked about. That means people are going back to G1 more. If the new one's terrible, at least people are talking about it. Um, but I don't have much in a, an opinion on, like, Brickonicle or anything. I don't know about you, Craig, so. I think it kind of sucks. The minifigures that look cool, but if they brought it back, I'd want them to do, like, CCBS. <laughs> I think it kind of sucks. Build little construction figures. Femly was awful, I will say. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, Femly log gives me nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> just, just don't. Don't do, no. Um, make new female characters, guys. Come on. Yeah. Um, All for that. Yeah. 
How do you witness the hype train for Bionicle G2 in 2015? Um, we talked about this a little bit. It was amazing. It was my favorite time to be a Bionicle fan just because everyone was optimistic for those first few months. It was, a, it was a fun ride. I mean, you know, Bionicle's coming back. People really didn't know what to expect, and then they start revealing stuff at Comic-Con. It was, it was fun. Actually, I actually uh, won a contest on BZ Power. I got one of the uh, tickets to some event where they had some of the new parts in October 2014. You got to build them at a Lego store, although I didn't end up going to the con. But I did get a tick to that. Oh, but, that's cool. But yeah, it was just exciting. Like the fans, everybody, longtime fans, new fans, like everybody was just really excited about it. It was just a great time to be a be a, be a, be a Bionicle fan. Be a Bionicle fan. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, how many mocks do you have? Uh, a lot, a lot of them. More than me. Uh, really? Yeah, well, you because you have got like six mocks that are great that you work effortlessly on for months and months and months. <laughs> yeah, and I've only been like doing it since. Two years ago, I started back. Yeah, up. you've been doing it for a long time. I, 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 well, I, yeah. My first Bionicle set was a proc, and I took it apart and made like a snake thing out of it. So, um, uh, how did you feel when your sister stole your sandwich? This is a, this is an obscure thing, but this is from a chat. I mentioned this in like some voice actor chat. It sucked, um, but I got her back. Um, oh, really bad. Maybe I'll tell that story sometime. But yeah, do you like Lord of the Rings? Yes, Lord of the Rings is awesome. It is. Yeah, it's great. I, I don't. I don't. I think The Hobbit's okay. I don't like it as much, but I love Lord of the Rings. Have you read the books or seen the movies? Or I haven't read the books. Okay. I've seen the movies. Yeah. Um. And my teacher in like fourth grade read to us the Hobbit book, so I kind of nice. read it. Um. And I remember I really liked the book. Um. But the movies, I I like the first one. I don't really like the ones after that. that yeah. Much. Yeah. Personally, I think the Lord of the Rings books are great, and the movies are. Have you read the books? Too. Yeah, I've read. Oh, uh, wow. I've read all three of them. Do you like the books more than the movies? I do like the books a bit better, but with like the extended edition of movies, they put enough of the books in there, and you know they're just great films. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, too. So I love. Did you? Have, they made like they they their effects were great because they made miniatures mm -hmm. of and then they like put the it was so cool. Someone who makes miniature sets that was. I wish I had the budget they did to make sets like that. That would have been amazing. Yeah, like, like even now, like, obviously the effects still look good, but at the time, like, the level of stuff they were doing yeah. was impressive. The scale yeah. was, un like, unprecedented for, oh, like, yeah. the environments. Um, aside from Camellio, because I guess you've mock, who's your favorite mock? Camellio is not my favorite mock. My favorite mock is probably... Well, I can't say what my real favorite mock is, because I haven't revealed <laughs> them yet, but probably Ghosty. I like Ghosty quite a bit, so... This is pretty cool. My favorite, my favorite mock that I've made is the, uh, the mock that I said was my favorite mock in my last Q and A video, but I'm not gonna say anymore. Okay. <laughs> Do you like the Camellio X Ghosty ship? Well, it's canon, so probably yeah. It kind of just happened. Yeah. Although I think it's a good thing. Well, at it, this point. Yeah. It, it it happened. It wasn't the plan. I, I, yeah. I I'm not gonna get into that. I went on to it a ton, but it's worked out pretty well. People now are obsessed with it, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, which Pokemon would be most delicious to eat by Maniac, who we mentioned earlier? Um, none of them. That's gross. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little weird. Have you ever looked at a Pokemon card and be like, man, I'd like to, I'd like to eat that? I, I was like never into Pokemon, so yeah. I honestly don't know. I, I don't. Yep. Nope. I don't. I don't think there's any Pokemon that I'd like to eat. Um, <laughs> there actually there's an ice cream cone Pokemon. Oh. So okay. maybe that one, but then that's still pretty gross. Yeah. yeah. Um, Okay, make a mock, please. Boom, I just did it. Nice job. Crexa did it too, so hey, you got two. Did it together! Uh huh. <laughs> Top five biotubers. I don't know. Um, I can't. I'd have to think about that. Yeah, I didn't think about it a lot too. I think there's a lot of underrated biotubers, bio like the Borok man, I think is super underrated. Oh, yeah, he's, he did, he's cool. He did the Glatorian Arena. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I can't think of everything right now, but there's a lot of underrated ones that are like a lot of shorter, like stop motion stuff that's really cool. Top five YouTubers. I don't know. That's that would take a very long time. Favorite Bionicle series on like YouTube? Oh, uh, Reviving Bionicle. Um, easily. I love Reviving Bionicle. What is yours, Craig? So. Oh boy. Um. I don't know. I've I've seen like some of them, but yeah, you, you not... don't seem like you've seen a ton of like. I don't. I don't picture you like, like marathoning. <laughs> like binge watching yeah. everybody's series. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I have to think about it. Reviving Bionicle is cool. Yeah. I've seen it like the series one time. Yeah. Um, it was for a fan, all of the fans. Hair looks good, thanks. Not as good as mine, though. Forget you. Um, what do you think about... This is a good one. Oh. What do you think about... Okay. This is by our buddy Renzo. What do you think about Bionicle... About making Bionicle content without stop motion? 
Do you think it's necessary or can you manage without it? I'm curious because you tend to see a lot more of it nowadays. So, I think that the moment Revolving Bionicle came out, it proved you don't need to do stop motion and, and to make something great. Um, I think stop motion can heighten some things, like action scenes can be really heightened by okay, stop yeah. motion. But I don't think it's needed, and again, my favorite Bionicle series has no stop motion in it whatsoever. So, I feel like you don't need it, um, and I'm more of a, and I think you can do well, and it also means you've got to do more creative, like, like stuff with the, I, 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 I'm totally cool with it. What do, what do you think, Craig? So, well, I mean, like, my stuff kind of like some of what Dash does, it's, it's a mix between, uh, it's a mix of live action and stop motion. I mean, I think it, like, for a series, uh, like, reviving Bionicle, the live action, you know, works great, because it's, like, toys in a house, but even if you have a different setting, like, um, like, something set in a different universe with different characters, like, it can work. I mean, obviously, you know, stop motion, it, it can look better for action scenes, and it takes more time and stuff, but, you know, some people just, you know, they don't have, like, as much time to spend on it, or they might not want to do it, so using live action is, is good, too, and you can have, like, emotion, I guess, and stuff in your Bionicle movie, even if it doesn't utilize stop motion. Both are great, but, uh, you know, stop motion isn't necessarily needed, I guess. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, random question, what do you think of whitewashing? I'm what? Whitewashing. Oh, like know. Ghost in the Shell? Yeah, like Ghost in, I don't know. Oh, yeah. That's kind of, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I don't think about it that Japanese much. Japanese people like that movie. Yeah, do they? I still need to see it, but I think Scarlett Johansson, yeah, I mean, she looks enough like the character in the anime. It so. was ever best for the role. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Go with that. <laughs> don't, inten don't intentionally change a person's race, but yeah. if you get an actor that is a different race and they're good, then... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like uh, Samuel Jackson uh, as uh, Nick Fury in the yeah, Avengers. Like in the perfect. comics, he's white, but it's Samuel Jackson in the movies. But it's it's great because like he is like he does the character so well. He's and it literally really... Nick Fury. Yeah. yeah. So, um, favorite Bionicle set? That's a toughie. Probably Taco <laughs> Master. What about yours? All time favorite. All time. Oh my god. Taco Master over Taco. There you go. Yeah, I'd probably just say the original Toa Taco from two thousand. That's a good choice. Why yeah. not? That's a good one. He's not like. It's more for the sentimental value, right? He's, mm -hmm. and they are good sets. People rag on the Matt Mata. They really shouldn't. Like for their time, they're amazing. Um, uh, can you update your organization? No. How can you afford all these sets and parts? Well, buddy, I got a job. Um, not right now, but seasonally, I get a job. And I also did some video stuff for my school, or I filmed at other schools, and I got yeah. paid for that. So that was pretty awesome. Um, that's mainly where I get my money um, that way. Or and I save a lot of it, like. I'm, saving is good. Saving is really good. You don't need to buy, like, I don't buy very many Lego sets. I still haven't bought in, like, almost any of the new construction Star Wars sets. Like, I don't have the new Darth Vader that they made. Yeah, I guess, for me, uh, I think I've mentioned this in other videos, but, like, 2016, 2017, I had a job I was going to in the summer, and I just got a new job now, so, you know, just saving money That's from that is kind of how yeah. I have money for my stuff. Narada asks, is it too late to, my question is, is it too late to leave a question? No, Narada, it's not, but now I answered the bit, no, that was kind of, all right. Uh, <laughs> I'll next time, more from on me, this right? video, Narada, you can leave a question. Yes, definitely. Go uh, for it. Um, if you were able to, would you be willing to do a full-length Hapori movie? Nope. The Hapori movie. The, if, a full-length stop-motion Hapori movie? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, thank you, that would kill me. If you, if you did do it, I would help you, but it would just yeah. be like, I feel like that would be a really big undertaking. Yeah, a two, because not like a one hour, like it would have to be a two and a half yeah. hour like movie. Like, On top of everything else we're doing. Yeah, it's about, know. yeah. Fodum 6 is basically a Fodum movie, so. Oh yeah. There's that. Um, I mean, it, and that's killed me. I can't do a poor y'all, and then keeping yeah. all the characters like in character. Um, have you ever played a Halo game? Yes. Multiple times. I mean, Energy Swords are on Halo, right? Oh uh, yeah, Halo is awesome. Halo is amazing. We were just talking about Halo 6 and A3, and yeah. we'll see what goes down there. Um, Will you do a review of your mock collection? Well, you got this monkey guy, he's kind of cool. Um, you got Camilio, he's kind of cool. Crex is pretty cool. There we go. I reviewed a couple mocks. <laughs> um, how do you have Bionicles to cheer back? How much? Bion uh, a lot? Several thousands parts and probably sets too. <laughs> um, from 1 to 10, how awesome is Fodum 6? I don't know, I haven't made it yet. I don't like to talk about how awesome it is. He can't say he hasn't seen it, so... Yeah, I haven't seen any of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have any interests besides Bionicle? I have a lot of interests besides Bionicle. This might have been in the last one. Um, I don't know. I, I think I talked about it in general, like Marvel, Ben 10. Um, 
a, I like some a lot of animated cartoons. I'm actually super into animated my like, cartoons and stuff, uh, that kind of stuff. Do you have any? I know you like Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, I, I like older Star Wars better. The new stuff is pretty cool too. Uh, but I like the older stuff. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Besides, besides the radical, um. I don't know, I like, I have some, like, video games and computer games that I like, like the, uh, Dreamfall, The Longest Journey series, like I mentioned in my last video, that's been really inspiring me, I've been playing Dreamfall chapters lately, uh, I'm, I'm kind of into Marvel, not as much into it as that, but Marvel's yeah. cool, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, go see Camilo get married, I don't know, <laughs> they're 16, I think it's a little too early for that, they're a little too young, yeah, we'll see, <laughs> um, we'll see, <laughs> yeah, um, did Camilo's arm how did Camilo's arm grow back? Because he said it in the Valentine's video. Well, if Camilo said it did, then I guess all we can function under is what Camilo said. Um, so I guess. Um, can you? Can you? Can you and the Hapori sing the? No, we're not going to be singing any songs today. Sorry. Well, because I already do another vlog. Blog probably. Yes. Actually, yes, he will. Uh, why did Richard's voice get changed? Because uh, the sound effect thing wasn't working as well as I was hoping it would. It happens, guys. Yeah. Uh, who's your favorite Toa? There's even bigger changes that are bad. Who's your favorite Toa? My favorite Toa is Tahu. Who's your favorite Toa? Favorite Toa is Kopaka. Because It's either, it's either cool. Tahu or it's Kopaka, right? <laughs> he's cool and I like his voice and yeah. his <laughs> Kopaka, yeah. Kopaka's great. Yeah. Um, what do you use to edit videos? After Effects and Adobe programs? Yeah, I kind of use the same thing. Yeah, we use the same stuff. Yeah. What's your inspiration for Brutaka's personality? I basically took his personality from the actual Bionicle and then just made it super cartoony and over the top and funny. Because Brutak is great, but in Fodim it worked better in the universe to have him be a little bit more of a joke about Brutaka. Because that's kind of what he starts out being. He's more like the joke version of Brutaka. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of where I got the inspiration from. And also, Otto just sounds like Brutaka, so it's funny to hear <laughs> Brutaka say stuff like balls are like, frick you, buddy! And it's like Rutaka saying that. It's kind of funny. It works. Is lettuce orange? No, it's green. Um, what is Richard's backstory? That's, c come on, I can't answer that. Um, off topic, but can I add Camilio in my series? I mean, I can't force you to do or not do anything. Um, who's your favorite Apori member? Uh, I don't have a favorite. They're all great friends. Um, okay. I think I will end on this one. Uh, is Camilio biomechanical? Because this is going on long. Uh, yeah, so a Camellio's changed all the time, what he is. Sometimes he's fully a robot, sometimes he's biomechanical. Fodum 6 definitively confirms that he's biomechanical, but it's not in it's not in the way of, like, he's got, like, muscles like the, the Toa kind of do. Mm -hmm. It's more in a way of, like, uh, vision from, like, the Marvel movies. Um, kind of like that. Uh, that's kind of the way I imagine him being. Um, but he's definitely got the more mechanical exterior to him. I just think yeah. he's made in a way that's, like, he grows and... Breathe. I don't know if he breathes, but I know he like he needs it light to grow, and you know it's he's like an organism, just a mechanical one, I guess. Um, so yeah, is Crex a biomechanical? Pretty sure he is. Yes, right? pretty sure. He's, <laughs> he's like a mutant toe thing. So yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right, so that's it for this video. Yeah. Thanks for being here, Crexa. Oh yeah. Um, it's been it's been fun. It's been yeah, and thanks for answering the questions. Um, and thank you guys for asking them. Leave more questions yeah. on this one. Oh Definitely. shoot. I want to answer one more. I got a question. Uh, who's for Ben 10 Alien? I got that multiple times on the last Q&A. It's Heat Blast and then Swamp Fire. So yeah, anyway. Um, so thank you all for watching. I'll see you later. Um, and goodbye.